Those temperatures have fallen quite drastically over the last few days. For many, that means bringing out the winter coats and turning on the heat and also seeing a small light on their car dashboard. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith explains how your weather can impact the tires on your vehicle this time of year. Temperatures fall this time of the year, you might notice a new light on your dashboard, the tire pressure sensor. Before we talk about why it lights up so often this time of the year, let's get into the science. Density is calculated using a couple of different metrics, but for our sake, we're going to call it as the amount of stuff that is given inside of a space. Air itself takes up space, but that can change given the weather conditions outside. When we see hotter air, the air molecules actually spread out. It's less dense and takes up more room. When we see colder weather, the opposite is true. It becomes more dense and those air molecules, they shrink together. This is where tire pressure comes into play. Every 10 degree drop that we see outside, you lose one to two pounds per square inch or tire pressure in your tire. That could be a pretty big change, especially when we have a week like this past one where we saw 78 degree weather last Saturday. And then starting tonight, we're going to see lows in the 30s. That could result in anywhere from a four to eight PSI drop in your tires. In other words, the air in your tire is getting much smaller. Why is this important? According to the U.S. Department of Energy, underinflated tires can lower gas mileage by 0.2% per PSI lost. Underinflated tires increase the braking distance needed as well as changing the lifespan of your tire. You just can't drive on it as long as you would normally be able to. So next time you see the tire pressure gauge lighting up, you can thank Mother Nature for causing the change. In studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. Well, on top of those tire issues, the winter can also cause some issues on the road, especially if it snows or we have some ice. But thankfully, here in the Midlands, as you know, <laughs> we very rarely see that because temperatures, well, they just don't work too well for that here. Yeah, we don't hardly ever get that perfect combination yeah. of the right amount of moisture and cold temperatures at the yeah. same time. But and I'm not complaining. As we speak of weather, a quick break.